This is Ray's Magnetic Field Shaping Generator 2. I want to point out a couple things to begin with. I made a couple changes. The uh, bar coming down on the activator or the uh, uh, injector bar uh, one eighth by one half by two inches long. There's eight magnets. They're one half uh, by one eighth inch neo magnets. This is the position I changed here from the first one. These are four one eighth by three quarter inch neo magnets. This is a 10D masonry nail. The generator is a 22 to 1 ratio, 20 volts. They're hard to find, but at least you could find a free spinning a small DC motor and you could set it up and what's the action. Okay. I'm going to point out a couple things here. Boost it up just a, another. Okay. Here's how to start it. You up too far, then you need to bring down the voltage a little bit. This is good to see, so you can kind of see what your uh, your setup will. The first number one, I think I was using uh, 5.1 volt, and it was using a 0.1 amps. And we get about a 4.4. That might be about right. There we go. Maybe. going to notice the power requirements. The high number is about a 31 I saw. 31 milliamp. That's driving five packs of LEDs. There are nine in each one, so that's 45. Not full brightness, but at least they're firing. Okay, I'm going to stop the generator. And before we... I remember seeing a 31 there. 30, 31. So we're going to stop the generator action. Now it's not powering that. So I see a 30, 34, 32, 34. So that's not powering the 54 LEDs. Now we'll go ahead and start it again. And I see a 32, there's a 34. So no more than what it was without powering the LEDs. This gives me tendency to think that the uh, overunity event that's taking place is powering the LEDs because the same requirement is basically whether it's powering the LEDs or it's not powering the LEDs. So we'll go ahead and take a run through real quickly and then we'll go into the overunity event itself. So I still have the same basic uh, setup, 
the injector is three inches uh, top to bottom instead of five that I had before. I have a two foot beam. I have it centered in the middle and it's about five inches out from the center of the middle out to where I have the little camshaft. I have a clay weight on the counterweight. So that's uh, how it's set up there. And uh, I'll be back and we'll look into the over unity event itself. This is the magnetic field shaping that is causing the over unit event from my perspective. Okay, I have a setup. This would be the arm of the generator. This would be the injector coming in. And I have it at a different angle, but it will show you later a different angle. But as it comes in, it pushes down on the generator arm, which causes it to spin. But you notice that coming in does not cause a forward reaction on the little car. Any force showing up coming this way on the injector would cause this to go forward. But because of field shaping, there's only a force going downward as the injector comes in. The element or vector that pushes as the injector comes in is eliminated through the field shaping uh, network that I have. So as we come in, there is little or no power for the injector to come in, unless you get it too low, <laughs> and you'll have to work on that. So but as it comes in, you'll see that it pushes down. There's more force downward as the injector comes in and this will show more clearly as I said it the other way so I'm trying to show that the injector force coming in is low power while the force going downward is higher power so let's flip this over to where it looks more like it would on the setup I have. So right now we have it. So there's very low power for the injector to come in, but as we saw, there should be more force going that way. So as we come down, you see the force going forward. So very little for the injector to come down, but the reaction going forward on the generator arm is much more. So this is what it's based on. More power out than power in. That's where my over unity event takes place. Okay, just to recap. On my first video I was using 5.1 volts and it was using a 0.01 amp. This is using less power and yet I'm able to power five sets of uh, nine LEDs instead of the one like I did in the first number one. So um, power requirements are greater and yet as we saw there earlier that the uh, amperage was not showing any more than when it was stopped or running. Okay. Sure hope you enjoyed this. I'll keep you posted. Thanks for those that are uh, helping with buy me a coffee. I use that to further research and development and have a great day. Thank you very much.